Hey, what's going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku, back with another video. And um, today, I'm going to be going over another Ruby Theory on something that I think the people in the fandom right now are talking about. Just, just a tiny bit. Um, as we all know, Volume 5 ended, what, like a month now? Um, or almost a month. And um, a lot of people are trying to decipher what happened in the last episode of Ruby Volume 5. And that was Cinder's death. Uh, or was it? So my theory is to go over to what has happened to Cinder and if she's dead or she's alive. Um, now I'm going to go through over a, uh, a bunch of possible scenarios, some of which... Uh, some of which are the possibilities of her being still alive, and some of them of the possibilities of her being, in fact, dead. And then I'm going to give up my own conclusion, and uh, as well as where I think this is going to go. Now, if you don't remember, right before Ruby Volume 5, I did come up with a theory about the possibility of Cinder turning good. Of course, that was before Season 5 came out, and before everything was established the way it was. Yeah, took an L on that one. But there is still a chance, slim, but we'll get into that uh, uh, very soon. So one of the reasons um, that a lot of people have come to the consensus that Cinder is dead is that she was frozen. She was thrown, well, I mean, she was basically, you know, you know, tossed down, or not really tossed down, but thrown right down into this pit of nothingness, basically falling to her death, essentially, while she turns into ice, might I add. So if she's turning to ice while she's falling down this multiple-story tunnel or whatever, um, eventually she's going to hit the ground and die. Um, or at least that's what I think a lot of the assumed people are thinking. Um... But one of the biggest hints that indicated that Cinder died against her battle with Raven was due to the fact that there was music playing in the background. And I didn't really even, while, while the episode was playing, I wasn't even, I wasn't even remotely hearing it because I was just so, so, I was just so into the action that I didn't even listen to the words of what the music was was saying and someone had pointed this out to me after my review and when i rewatched it and tried to you know listen to the music they're saying that you know your time has come you know it's time to die you know that was the song that was playing while the battle of cinder and raven happened which is a really big indication that cinder is in fact dead because why would you be playing music like this if you know someone isn't going to die you know, like, it just seems kind of really weird that they would have something like this. Like I said, another another thing is, you know, the music's playing, Cinder is, is frozen, uh, which I don't know why, by the way, the Spring Maiden has freezing powers, but she does. I mean, you know, <laughs> she does have freezing powers, so, I mean... <laughs> That's a thing in itself. But anyways, um, she freezes it, freezes her, and uh, she falls down this huge tunnel. We don't know how, how long it is. We don't know when she'll eventually land to the bottom. Uh, but assuming that she's frozen, you know, and completely knocked out at this point from a raven, you know, I'm assuming that she would crack when she hits the ground and then die. Now, obviously, with the Cind with, with with Cinder's Fall Maiden powers, um, they would transfer um, to someone if she's in fact dead. Uh, one of the things, the three theories right now on that is that if she is in fact dead, that Raven being the first because I mean she was battling Raven so ideally if you're fighting someone wouldn't that be the last person you're thinking of right now because you know she's literally fighting Raven 
Okay, so that was, you know, the, the high, you know, possibility is, well, wouldn't the ma uh, maiden powers go, go to Raven? Now, some people have said, well, she could be too old, but there was nothing really established on how old the age limit is for the maiden powers to be given to someone. And another thing is, too, that nothing was really esta uh, established was, is that Raven, you know, um is is the fact that can someone have two maiden powers since raven already has the spring maiden powers can she realistically obtain another maiden power already um now we seen right a few episodes before this that cinder tried to kill vernal who at the time we all thought was the spring maiden and uh turns out she wasn't the spring maiden and killed her basically for nothing and um what happened was is that the spring uh um made the real spring maiden raven uh basically you know revealed herself but you know obviously cinder was killing her because she wanted the power so now would that have worked you know could she have could she have been maiden you know could she have two maiden powers? Now, this was, I don't think this was ever established that if, you know, someone could actually wield two maiden powers. So that's another thing. So if Raven is over the age limit, because, she, I mean, she's got to be in her 40s, um, but if she's over the age limit of being able to get maiden powers, because obviously she was younger when she got the spring maiden powers, um, if that's the case and she's older or she can't wield two maiden powers, which would have really hurt Cinder too, by the way, um, you know, since she was going for the maiden powers, um, then uh, it would go to the next person I believe she was thinking of, um, or the, the, the second last person she was thinking of, which that would have been uh, probably Ruby, because Ruby was the one who um, Ruby was the one you know that she wanted to really get vengeance on and never got it. Um, so that would possibly be the other person that would have gotten it, um, and then the other person, the final person, would be Emerald, who, you know, Emerald's really attached to Cinder, obviously, and not necessarily Cinder attaches, is not necessarily really attached to uh, Emerald, but Emerald really established in Volume 5 that the only reason why she's working for Salem is for Cinder, because Cinder is like, Cinder is like a mother figure, I guess, so to speak, for Emerald, because Emerald never had parents, um, so, uh, that's why she really cares for Cinder, as we seen when they found out that, you know, or at least from their perspective is that Cinder's dead, and so she, you know, unleashed her power the way she did and made a hologram of Salem, um, but, uh, we'll find out that more, but here's the thing, um, about all of that. And this is going to lead into the possibility of Cinder being alive still, is that when she falls, assumedly, to her death, um, not one of these people that we theorize would get the Maiden Powers, uh, the Fall Maiden Powers, showed that they were getting these Maiden Powers. Now, if you remember, when... Uh, Cinder, when Cinder got the remaining half of Amber's Fall Maiden powers once they officially killed her, um, it immediately went to her. Like, the, the other half of the Fall Maiden powers immediately went to Cinder. Like, so, the moment Cinder dies, the last person she would have thought of would have gotten the powers, whether it would have been Raven, rather it would have been Ruby, rather it would have been Emerald, or whoever else. But those are the three popular ones at this point um, that would have gotten it. Someone would have gotten those powers. 
Like, period. Someone would have gotten the Spring Maiden powers. Or not, not sorry, sorry, not Spring Maiden powers, Fall Maiden powers. Someone would have had those powers right away. You know, and you would think if it had been Emerald and Cinder was dead, wouldn't the, when Emerald was like, you know, doing that, you know, her own power thing or whatever with the, with the Salem hologram or whatever, wouldn't you have thought right then and there she would have activated those powers? You know, if she had gotten a hold of, of Cinder's Fall Maiden powers? So that's why I, I, I don't think Emerald got them. Because I would have thought she would have gotten them right away. You know, that's what happens is you get them immediately once the, the once the vessel dies that's occupying the powers. Same with the Ruby Rose. Same with, uh, well, maybe not so much Raven because Raven had already won. But, you know, when it, it been activated right away. So that is what, you know, makes a lot of people think a lot of people think that Cinder is, in fact, alive. And rightfully so, because they never really show that establishment that you see when Cinder had fully killed Amber. You know, where she, once she killed Amber, she fully got those powers back. You know, when they had that failed plan with Pura. Um, so that's the one biggest issue right now. Uh, on terms of why they're dead or alive, or why Cinder alive or dead, you know, it, it leaves you in really a cliffhanger, really, on to knowing if she's in fact alive or dead at this point, because we don't know. Um, my personal belief, my personal belief right now at this time is she's alive and i know some people are going to be on here and saying nah she has to be dead i personally think she's alive that is my theory um i believe that cinder somehow i don't know how uh maybe salem comes into place, you know, as before she's about to, like, fall to her death or whatever and unfreezes her. I don't know. But my personal belief is, is she is not dead. Because if she was dead, the powers would have gone immediately to someone. And some people are going to be on here and might say, well, they, you know, they're not showing it because they want to think about that. But the way they ended it the first time where Amber had fully taken over the Fall Maiden powers by fully killing uh, Pura, or not Pura, I'm sorry, uh, Amber, you know, leads me to believe that it would have automatically been an immediate thing. I think the music was done as a way to make everyone think Cinder is dead. So, here's another thing, too. If, because we're going to go into the, now, the theories on why Cinder could be alive. Okay, the first possible theory is that Cinder, or not Cinder, Salem, Salem saved Cinder. That's, like, kind of the obvious, is that Salem saved Cinder, you know, she broke her fall. I mean, she has that little creepy globe, whatever, staff thing that walks on its own. I mean, so she could easily go with that thing and use it to, like, you know, you know, act or that axe thing or whatever, string thing, you know, to basically rope around Cinder to, uh, to save her and break the fall. Um, another possibility, um, that I thought of is that when she was frozen in the ice and she was falling to her death, is, you know, maybe someone is at the end of the tunnel and just happens to be there to save her, or, you know, who knows, something, um, you know, may maybe maybe she does, maybe, maybe the ice doesn't crack, maybe Cinder being the Fall Maiden's durability is able to, you know, basically keep her from breaking from, from the frozen ice. Um, that's, there's that possibility too. I mean, this, I mean, this is Ruby, so they can come up with stuff 
any way they want. I mean, it's not like, you know, this is like the real world or something like that, you know, that, that could happen. Um, so, um, that's one of the things I thought of. Now, one of the things I thought of, you know, on what could possibly have happened, too, and I, I think this one's more far-fetched than anything else, but it kind of goes in with my original theory on the fact that Cinder could possibly be turning good, so I had to come up with it, um, is that maybe Cinder, when she gets frozen, is that she, you know, and then gets unthawed, is that she comes down with amnesia, right? And she completely forgets about everything and forgets about her powers and forgets about you know all the stuff with salem yada 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 and uh that leads into you know cinder being good um and if people don't think that this is a possibility let me remind you they did this legends of korra where korra actually forgot who she was for a while in avatar uh as well as my favorite character in fiction, the hope of the universe, Goku's origins started by falling off a cliff, okay, and getting amnesia and turning good. So don't say, don't say this isn't a possibility, because it is. <laughs> Just saying. Um, so I had to throw that one in there. Just because, you know, that's my that's my wild card theory, by the way. Um, but realistically, um, I think Salem saved Cinder before she hit the ground um, with her little crystal staff ball rope with with the rope thing or whatever in time. Um, and that saved her. Uh, and then, of course, she'll just unthaw her. Um, so, like I said, I think the music was done as something to try and hide the fact that she's dead. You know, to make people think, oh my god, Cinder's dead! Yay, the heroes finally get their revenge! You know, that's why they're playing the music. I think that was done specifically to fool everyone. Uh, you know, and, and and Rooster Teeth has done it, you know, a couple of times, actually. They, they fooled me in this season. They fooled everyone with, you know, making everyone think that Vernal, Vernal was the spring maiden, you know. Vernal, you know, is another, I guess, word for spring or something like that. Um, you know, her powers were like spring-type themes. So... You know, Rooster Teeth has got us before, you know, with, you know, making us think that, you know, this is what's going to happen, and then it doesn't happen. So, I'm, I'm really starting to think that this music that they played during the Raven Cinder battle, final battle, um, or the, well, not really the final battle, but, you know, one of the final battles of the season... Um, I'm really starting to think that this was done to fool everyone, to make everyone think that she is in fact dead, when in reality she is not dead. Uh, especially since the powers didn't transfer to anyone, it should have transferred. Uh, especially when they were in the midst of battle, the way they were. If it had gone to Ember, th that power would have activated. If it... If it had transferred to Ruby, that power would have activated immediately. So I, I just can't buy. I just can't buy the fact that Cinder is dead, unless you know we find out. I mean, in season six, I could be wrong. She could be dead, and we might find out who got the power. Uh, you know, you know, maybe it's someone different. Who knows? Um, but. I'm more inclined to believe that Cinder is alive after going through everything, going through the possibilities, all the, the scenarios based on what we have seen um, and what was presented in the episodes. I am on the belief 
that she is alive. Um, and I think Salem, my popular, th or my, my biggest theory right now is that Salem saves her. Salem saves her before she dies. Um, and, um, eventually unfreezes her too. Um, but I'm not giving up on that wild card one, though. I will say that right now. The whole, you know, she forgets, you know, everything. Because that's a possibility, too. That's my wild card one. That's my wild card theory. Um, so, yeah, that is my theory on uh, Cinder's death or potential death, you know, in uh, the ending of Volume 5. But now with... My theory, you know, and all my theories that I presented, you know, of why she's alive and why she's dead, um, I would like to hear from what you guys think. Do you guys think Cinder is alive? Do you think she is dead? And if there was something that I didn't explain, if there was a theory, if there's a theory that you have on how she's dead or alive that I didn't explain in this episode, please feel free to comment down below your theory on how cinder is alive or dead um because i would love to hear it but these are the theories um that i've came up with on how she could be alive or dead and my personal theory on why she is in fact alive um so um let me know what you guys think comment rate if you like this video or any of my other videos please subscribe and if you want to hear more theory videos let me know too uh, and, hell, even give me ideas, you know, on what you would want me to theorize. Uh, and it doesn't just have to be Ruby either, um, you know, because I do other stuff besides, I do other reviews besides Ruby. But, um, yeah, let me know. Uh, I am out of here. I am the SS Ultimate Goku, and I'm out. Peace.